So the plan is to remove these big diving boards and make it look like this. Ooh. To do this, we have to remove the big 22 millimeter bolts on either side of the radiator. After those are out, it's time to move to the front of the inner fenders where there's two little nuts on the other side of this accordion style trim. After those are removed, the front bumper should pull right off. And there you have it. No need to go on a diet when you can remove this much weight. There'll be these two little guys left over. There's some Phillips screws on the inside that you have to take off and these little plastic clips. That's what the hole will look like afterwards. Actually looks pretty good without a front bumper. We'll have to drill a hole there. So we'll be reusing the big hole there as well as a extra hole where those two bolts in the plate are. We'll need to remove that as well. To do that, we'll have to remove the grill, four screws, and then there's a little plastic knurled nut on either side that holds this aluminum hook. Do this for either side, and voila! Decent access to those little plates. Here is the new Bluntec adapter versus the original massive shock bracket. Another weight saving. So the idea is these guys replace the originals. You'll still use the original bolts. And then this hole actually will go onto this guy. From here, it's pretty straightforward. As you can see, bolt in, everything's a little loose, but both sides are in. Everything is loose because when I get the bumper on, I will adjust it and tighten it from there. Here's the new hole for the bumper corner. With the bumper corners on, it's looking pretty good. The included hardware is pretty long, but that helps when you're putting it together. Now it's time for the rear diving board. This unit is huge. You have three big Helgas to remove at the back. One is hidden in the middle under a plastic cap. And on either side you have a few 10 mils to remove for the rubber trim. And the bumper should come off. Once off, you can see the plugs used for the Euro bumper holes. To remove the bumper apron, we'll call it, there's quite a few little screws kind of around the whole edge. You do have to pre-assemble the rear bumper before installing it. You just won't have any room to tighten the bolts once the bumper's on. This little bracket this end goes towards the inside, and then it's actually on the lower end as well, because you could have it like this. 
I did have to drill a hole for the rear bumper corners as well. Ooh, that's looking good. I spent quite a bit of time adjusting and snagging everything up. Now that looks pretty, yep, yeah, mm -hmm, you betcha. Thanks for watching.